Hi guys, Daniel and John here and welcome back to another one of our product review videos. Um, we're in the garage today and as you can see we're in front of a couple of black shelving units. So this video is going to be about reviewing those two shelving units uh, made by Yahi Tech. We bought them from Amazon. At the time of making this video it was about £57, so roughly £20 plus per shelf. You can buy them from elsewhere but they're sort of £30, this was a, a better deal. That's the code and there are two, two pieces, two shelving units in this box. The box does weigh quite a bit. It's got plastic strapping and sellotape on it. Nothing was damaged when we got them and very well packed. Now, I have had these shelving units in the past from a company called Screwfix. They were grey. Um, these are better quality, better made, and uh, they do go together really easy. So let's, I'll pass it over to John to explain about the shelf quality and how to put them together. Right, so basically they're self-assembly and each shelf unit has five shelves on it. These are made out of it looks like about four or five mil hardboard, uh, nice and smooth, well cut. Um, it's a clever design this because all the best way to show it is, is sort of here is they all fit together with tabs. You can just see them there. There, they're like a black tab. That. Here's a better example of the tabs there, those, it all fits together with them. Right, <coughs> the uh, legs come in two and they're joined together there and they're joined together with a bracket that you just slot in and you tap at the top. Yeah. I'm just going to stop about the shelves a minute and just make sure that everybody knows what you need. You definitely need a rubber mallet. Do not use a hammer or anything else because you'll damage this. You will need these because sometimes when you put them together, you sort of mean you just need to alter these a bit. Not particularly on this part, but on something else. And sometimes you'll need a screwdriver, flat-headed screwdriver. We'll show you what that's for. Just to bend these yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. These cross members. Should we show them? Yeah. Should we show them what that's for? So these cross members go between these front and back pieces. They have like little tabs, and you push them through these parts here, and you bend them in. We well, put a screwdriver behind that and bend it right back so they don't fall out. That's what you need this screwdriver for. Yeah. Flathead screwdriver. And uh, five shelves. They're about six foot tall. These, and I say about thirty centimeters wide. And that when they're put together, they're quite stable. One thing I could mention is that even though they're sold as a set of two shelving units, you can actually make four out of them. Just don't put the join in there. So you'd have one with two shelves on and one with three shelves on. So you can actually get four shelving units, but they would be this height. And they come with these nice little caps, and these are on the top. And the bottom and there's enough to do either two single shelving units which are about six foot high or four shelving units which is about three foot high but you can configure these these shelves exactly as you want we've got the shelf space we want to put boxes on them but you can have them however you want to you can have them this far apart you can have it that you can do whatever you want really if you're going to make four shelving units instead of two and you're not joining them you slide these in and basically they slot in there. Yeah. That's so you'd have a shelf you'd have another shelver unit here and it'd be butted up against this and these would just keep them together. Slotting in. Yeah. Sometimes you need to just tweak them a bit. Yeah. Just to get them in. We're not going to put that in. Yeah. So that's if you had four shelving units. Um, take about twenty minutes to put together, probably something like that. Uh, we didn't have any problems at all. Um, everything looks really well made. Um, the added bonus, you even get a set of uh, gloves which you can use. And it might be worth using them just because, just because if you're working with metal, you don't want to get your fingers so pinched. The top is sharp, and when you're bashing things in, I put them on. But when you are bashing things in, make sure that all the pieces, the two tabs are inside. Hang on, I'll show that a bit better. Make sure that you've got like the two pieces that come down are in these pieces and um, and then once they're in these you can then bash down and then you can you see here that this piece and this piece it's squared so then you're all good good to go but that's um, that's something to worth consider just make sure 
when you put it together it's all in here properly and then squared up so you don't want to bend it yeah. would help the Sorry, we was just getting a torch, yeah. You see those? That's the joining bracket. Here's the joining bracket we were talking about earlier. That puts the mates into one shelf. You go down and up. Yeah. And, the, and these bits here, so they go down. Okay. And then we'll just show a closer one of this middle brace, just in case you're wondering. So these were these pieces that go through, and we just bent them round. So, and that really is uh, it, if I'm honest. Um, if you are struggling, Oh right, let's just take a look at the instruction manual in a minute. It's quite comprehensive. So it's, yeah, it's pretty comprehensive. It tells you there's obviously various parts to it, front and back. So those bits there are these bits. And these little bits are these little bits here. And obviously those bits are the cross members we've just shown you. And obviously that's the shelving. You get screws and raw plugs included if you want to put it on the wall, which might be just for good for, for kids' safety if you've got children. That's the joining brackets we're talking about. And that's the joining about. brackets here, which are those things there. Yeah. Um, what else can we say about this? But it, it, if you go to the next page, it shows in two units. So as you can see there, we've got a full, full sh height shelf, but here you can actually have them like that. So you can have them exactly as you want, like three, two, it's really, and really that versatile. That bracket there is the strong bracket. That would go between, between the two on the inside, Yeah. just to keep them sturdy. Uh, it does come with all the if you want to attach it to the wall, and screws are all there. So uh, over and all, I'd say it's a very well made product. It's one of the uh, better, better garage shelving units I've had, to put it that way. It was a lot easier than the, they look the same to put together. Um, quite robust and I like the flexibility with it and I like the, th the fact they've thought about the safety as well. They really have thought about the safety with it. So all in all, in my opinion, it's got to be a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I think it's 10 out of 10. Yeah, no nonsense yeah. with them. Went together, uh, very versatile. It, even the fact that they've even trimmed a bit off there says so they're trying to quality. Normal. Yeah, because otherwise that would, be a, that would be a problem trying to get it. Yeah. Trying to get it in here because obviously you'd have the corner against these bits. So that's... Then what happens is the corner busts off as you're trying to yeah. push it in. So uh, you just drop it in there like that. And there you go. Um, the fact that they're, the picture on there says a little bit as well. These would be equally at home in a uh, garage or a bedroom. A kitchen. Or a kitchen. There's nothing to stop Utility you. Room, Utility room, anywhere really. to stop you uh, giving these a coat of paint or something or covering them or something. E even the material would look nice if you're that in, into that craft. Yeah, if you want to material. do that kind of thing, yeah. So, quite first time in the house. And if you think what it costs you to make these, the price of wood and stuff. I think I worked it out and it was about £28 per shelving unit, which is fairly good. And if you are moving around or whatever, um, you can take them to bits. If you were putting them up, say, in a tight space, they're easy to lift in because they're in bits and you can put them up where you want them. So, over and all, a good product. Anyway, it's just up to uh, tidy your life up, <laughs> sort of thing. Um, would you help us along a bit and subscribe to our channel, please? Thank you. If you've got any questions about the shelving, guys, uh, let us know in the comments and we'll do our best to answer. Thanks very much for watching. Yeah.